Hello everyone, this is Ted and today we're going to be building a Japanese roof in Roblox Studio. So first of all, the plugins you'll need are Archimedes, Building Tools by 3x, and Starvent Model Reflect. So the links to all these plugins will be in the description and you can download them from there. So first thing you want to do is you can add a part. Now let's size it 1, stud, that should be fine. Let's just do 1.5 instead, like that. Now we kind of want it to be like a tile, so we'll scale it down like this. Make sure your stud increments are 0 0.1, so this seems fine. Now place it somewhere like that and rotate it a little bit, like this. This should be fine like that. Now we'll use Archimedes and get that nice Japanese roof curve. Let's use 5 degree increments and hit render circle somewhat like this. Now we can just select this. Actually, let's do one more. Okay. Now we can just select this and duplicate, move it and place it exactly here so that it doesn't collide. And now use building tools by 3x and scale it like this. Now we can just select this part and use Archimedes again and rotate it on this side, I mean curve it on this side, hit render once like this. Now make sure the amount of parts on this side are equal to the amount of parts on this side. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need to do it one more time. Like that. Now the reason why we're doing that is because We'll be selecting this diagonally and deleting all the excess stuff like this. Now let's select these and color them black because we'll need to delete this later on. So just so that we don't get confused. Now add a wedge. <clears throat> and color this red for now and put it somewhere like this oh make sure align wrapped objects is on just right click and make sure this is ticked and put it like this just like that Now you can duplicate this and do the same for all of these parts. So we'll just duplicate and keep placing this like that. Now we can just select this, the wedges. and use building tools by 3x to move it downwards. You can set the increments to 0 0.1 and place it like this, no, move it on local and place it like this. Now scale it, increments can be on 0 0.1, like that. Now we can select the black parts and hit backspace to delete them. Now don't worry if this side doesn't come out perfect because that'll be hidden anyway. So you can just select all of this and make it one color. I'll do black and you can give whatever material you like. 
my materials aren't showing up right now because I'm using studio in offline mode. So now you can just select all of this and use this tarp and reflect to reflect this on the other side. So here we have one side of the Japanese roof ready, almost. We can use cylinders and place them like this for the details. So let's kill this down a little bit. Oops. Okay. Like this. And put it here. Now we'll use Archimedes again to bring that curve. Like this. And just give this the same color and material. Black and slate. It won't show up anyway. And group all of this. Now use one step move, increments I mean, and actually two, and place it like this, duplicate move, duplicate move, keep doing that, now you can switch back to 0 0.1 increments, and Place this tough like this. And same goes on the other side. Like that. And now we'll be selecting these and ungrouping them and select all the X's tough and hit backspace to delete like this and if there's something like this you can just select this and scale it like this Now same for the other side, select all of this, unhook it, and delete the excess stuff. What you want to do now is select all of this and group it, control G. Now you can use building tools by 3x and select global. Now hit duplicate, control D and control R to rotate like this. And place it somewhere here. Like that. Now select both of these, duplicate, rotate, rotate, and place it like this. Alright, this is fine. Now don't worry about this stuff because that'll be hidden. I'll show you guys how. So. Let's just add a part and a cylinder. Now you can just take measurements. Uh, like this. 
so this thickness should be fine yep I'll use this now we'll copy its position here and paste the position in this cylinder and now we'll move it upwards like this and scale it a little bit I'm holding shift to scale it like that and hold control to scale it on both the sides like this it's a little too big I'll turn off this the increments to get a better result for this This should be fine. Now there's actually one more plugin we're going to use, which is Resize Align. I forgot to mention it in the beginning. I didn't realize we can need it, but it's basically used to do stuff like this like that so here we have our thing now we're gonna give it some detail Alright, now we'll give this the same color and same material and place it like this. Let's group it first. Now we'll place it here. Well, actually, let's turn off drag, align dragged objects for now and place it here like this. Now turn on 45 degree increments for rotation and do this now turn them off and rotate it like this and move it and put it somewhere like this and you can make it bigger or smaller according to your thing and now use Archimedes again get that curve I need to scale this a little bit like this for a better result <clears throat> yep this is fine now we can just like all of this and group it and place it perfectly there should be no excess stuff peeking out of it Alright, so once we're done with this, 
let's get this some more detail actually. So we can do something like this. And put it here and negate it and you mean this. You can do anything else if you have something better in mind. Now let's just make it golden. Group it. Now select all of this and group this. Now use building tools by 3x again. Duplicate, rotate, rotate, and place it here. Now same for the other two sides, duplicate, rotate, rotate, and put it here, same here. And then select all of this and Group it. So, yep, this is our Japanese roof. Since Japanese structures are somewhat like this, let me make a quick prototype. Like this, and then they go smaller. Like that. So, the top roof is a little different, of course, and we'll get to that in the next video. But for now, this is it. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to support me. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.